guys, John Faulkner here with Survival Dispatch. I wanted to talk to you, you about a cool DIY project that I recently got to implement in a GORUCK uh, challenge course that I did. And that is making a gas mask out of a two liter bottle and an N95 mask. Um, this is a really cool project that we did. It was one of the, uh, it was one of the chapters that we had to do in our Go Ruck challenge. And uh, what we had to do was construct a gas mask out of these items here. And, um, and then we got sprayed in the face three times with pepper spray and had to make a three mile ruck afterwards. So I can tell you from experience that these will work. And uh, you might be asking yourself, why would we need a gas mask uh, out of you know, household items or items that we might find you know, near, uh, near us or in our bug out bag? And the reason is, is with the amount of civil unrest and the amount of protests and things like that that are starting to happen in urban areas, you might find yourself at work one day where a protest uh, breaks out, where police officers or the protesters are using uh, a lot of gas masks and means of controlling people. And your only way to egress might be going through that situation. And I will tell you that from experience, it is a thousand times better to have this than to be uh, completely open, trying to hold, you know, a, a handkerchief or something over your mouth. Um, it, it's just not fun. When you can't see, you have no clue where you're going. And this will definitely give you a huge advantage to be able to keep your vision, uh, to, to keep the... Uh, all the, the particles and stuff out of your nose, which just burn like crazy. And for those of you that haven't been sprayed with, with pepper spray before, first of all, good job. Uh, second of all, it is a horrific experience. I mean, 12 hours later, when you're trying to get the stuff off of you with, with soap in the shower, it's still burning your face. So being able to keep this out of your eyes and out of your nose is, is really the key points that we're trying to address here. Uh, and it's a very simple project that you can get done in just a few minutes. So so let's dive into exactly what you need. First of all, what you're going to need is a two liter uh, bottle of sorts. Um, you know, you might you might have to use whatever you you have lying around the office. Uh, but, you know, try to get the ones that are wide, like Coke bottles kind of kind of narrow in at the bottom. Uh, so you might have to trim that off. It might be a little bit sh uh, shorter. Uh, clear bottles are also a little bit better. We will be seeing out of these. So if you can grab a clear bottle, say over like a Sprite bottle or something that's green, uh, that'll also give you an advantage. The second thing is, is you're going to need like an N95 mask. Uh, most people carry these, you know, in their get home bags, bug out bags anyways. Um, but you'll need one of those. A roll of, of duct tape. Um, I just happen to have a, a half roll of Gorilla Tape here, so that's what I'm going to use. That's what I keep in my bag. Uh, a pair of scissors or a knife. You can use either. Uh, I'm going to use scissors today. Uh, and then a rag, and I'll show you. This is not only going to help clean out the inside of the bottle to, to get the Coke syrup and stuff off the inside, um, but I'll also show you how you can implement this in case you didn't have an N95 filter. So let's jump into it and have some fun with this DIY project. All right, so guys, we got our empty two liter bottle here. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is the bottom is actually gonna become the top of your gas mask. So the first uh, cut that we're going to make is along the bottom to get rid of, of the bottom of the, of the bottle here. Uh, it's very simple, usually there's a line that you can kind of follow, uh, but you can simply just take your scissors and cut all the way around it, and that's gonna be the, the top of your head. So let's make that first cut. All right guys, so we're gonna start with cutting this here. Uh, and you can really, you can use a knife or scissors, either one. Uh, you just want to kind of, you know, it doesn't really matter if you're absolutely precise um, because we are going to, to tape this to, to make a better seal. But you're just going to go all the way around here. So first you're just going to start by cutting the bottom off. All right, guys, with all of your cutting out of the way, you can now see exactly where your face is going to go. What I did was I used my rag here just to clean the inside up, uh, just to help, you know, get rid of some of the Coke syrup that's kind of nasty and sticky and you don't want that all over your face, um, and to, to create a dry surface for the tape to adhere better, uh, too. Now you're going to take your, your N95 mask. And what you're first going to do is, is you're going to pull out uh, the four straps here. And sometimes these things are, can be a little bit difficult, but usually if you just give them a good yank, they'll, uh, they'll come right out. Now don't throw these away. We're going to be using these to attach the mask to us. But now what you're going to do is you're going to take your mask and you're going to line it on the inside of the bottle here. And 
What you want to make sure is, is you try to get rid of, of any wrinkles possible, and we will fix this with some, with some duct tape here. Uh, but what you want to get is you're pretty much going for about that look right there, you know, just so, so you can see where your nose is now going to go um, and just how this gas mask is actually going to work. So once you align it, all you got to do is just put some duct tape on the inside to completely seal this uh, so that you are now breathing through the mask and not through the openings. All right, guys, now that we have our uh, N95 mask installed, what we're going to do now is, is tape up the inside of our mask and then tape up our cut lines all the way around the bottle to create a seal um, and attach our elastic straps as well to hold the bottle to our face. Um, this will use quite a bit of duct tape. I have a half roll, and by half roll, I mean it's cut in half. Um, usually what I would do is, is if I had a whole roll, I'd still cut it in half anyways. I just happen to have this, so I'll use it. Um, but you're going to tape the border of your N95 mask, and then you're going to tape the border of the bottle, and you're going to attach your straps as well, all using duct tape. So let's get started. All right, guys, as you can see, I got the entire perimeter of not only the, uh, the, the bottle tape, but also the N95 mask on the inside. And you want to make sure that these, these are airtight all the way. And I'll show you how to test that here in just a second. But as you can see, you can actually now see, you know, how it's a, a gas mask of form. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on and uh, I'll show you exactly, you know, how it fits and how it works. So simply just, you know, grab the straps like any other face mask and uh, in position it. So what you want to be able to do is, I hope you can hear me here, what you want to be able to do is just take a big deep breath in and the bottle should suck in like this. That's when you actually know that you have a proper seal to your face. If you don't, you'll see that, you'll be able to feel where the air gaps are. Now, what you can do to help uh, keep some of the fogging down is you can use the old goggle trick of spitting on the inside and kind of wiping it around if you need to. Um, and if you also feel like you're not getting enough air, you can unscrew the bottle here, take the cap off. Now this is going to allow you to get a lot more air. As you can see, I defogged there, so I can get a lot more air in. But when you actually have pepper spray or if you have pepper spray on you, you're going to want to keep this as tight as possible. Um, and then the other thing you're going to do is, is try to get your, the bill of your hat back over the face mask. And what this is going to do is you're trying to keep any open spot possible from getting pepper spray to come down into. So, you know, if there was a gap or something, so you want to be able to pull your hat down as low as possible. Um, and so that's, that's exactly how it fits, guys. And like I said, I've, I've used this thing. I have been pepper sprayed by it. And, uh, and it works. So, you know, is it, is it an end-all solution to having a real gas mask with you? No. But improvise and knowledge is what's going to get you through in hard times. So, so there you have it, guys. A gas mask that I know it, has, it is proven to be useful uh, against not only foam pepper spray, but gel pepper spray as well. Um, that can be made just out of an N95 mask and a Coke bottle. If you guys like this video, be sure to comment below. Make sure you hit the like button. And until next time, be safe. Mm -hmm.